In the last time, we onboard the cinematic edge to our Mindsphere tenant. That means the tenant knows but at the moment there is no communication between the cinematic edge and our cinematic. This we want to change in this video. Therefore, we will install the first three necessary applications in the adapter framework, the cinematic adapter, Samba server. Okay, let's start. To start install apps on our cinematic edge, we use the button app management on our Mindsphere dashboard. On the left hand side we see all edge boxes and with the filter we can search for our test edge. Like you see on the right hand side there are no application installed. We will change this now with the button new application. The first application we want to install is the adaptive framework. We choose the newest version which will fit to our software version of Cinematic Edge. We accept the terms and conditions and click Save. The next application we want to install is the Cinematic Adapter. Also there we choose the newest version, accept terms and conditions and click Save. The last application, what we will need, is the Zamba server. This is a file server installed on our Cinematic Edge to provide us with files that we will need later. Also here we click Accept Terms and Conditions and click Save. To see how, it's in, how the installation is going, we can use the Jobs tab and there we see the state of installation. If everything changed to activate it, we see the applications in our app management dashboard. The next step is to click install. This will unpack the applications on our edge box. This will take a while and I make the video a little bit faster to not borrow you. Important here is we go to configure and wait for message OK for all three applications. If this is done, we need to configure some applications. We will start with this numeric adapter. You see the small gear and the small gear is to configure the application. First we need the serial number of our Zinomeric CF card. Therefore, we change over to our Zinomeric controller and with menu select, setup and licenses, we can see the serial number of our CF card. We can mark it down or copy it to use it in our configuration page. We will paste the serial number from our Zinomeric into the configuration and click save. Now we will start with the configuration of our Samba server. Here we have to choose a username, in our case we choose Sinu and the password. Important is the password needs to be 8 characters, small and big letters and some symbols. Also here we click save to save this configuration. Now it's time to start our application. Therefore we use the small play button for all three applications to start them on the Cinematic Edge box. Also this will take a while and we can see the status of installation again with jobs in configure. We will wait for all to be ok. To see if all applications are working well, we can first clean up our dashboard a little bit and open a new tab in our browser and input the IP address of our Edgebox followed by the port 5443 slash This will open a, di a diagnostic page from the Cinematic 
Hedgebox and under App Management we are able to see the status of all applications running on our Hedgebox. In the left upper corner you see a green triangle that means that these applications are running. Same for our Samba server and Cinemeric adapter. So till now we've done everything well. And we now we need to go back to the Cinemeric to set up some network shares. Therefore we go to menu select, setup, HMI, logic drives. We search the free soft key and change the type to Windows Share. In computer name we will use the IP address of our edge box which is 192.168.214.249. The share name is share in small letters and the username and the password we choose before in the configuration of the Samba server. The last step is to give the soft key a name, in this situation we choose Edge. After click of OK, the network drive will mount it onto our Cinemeric and we can access the files from the Edge box. We have another network share mounted which is on my server and here I host the files for the half probe compile cycle. And if we click on that, we will see the installation files for the half probe compile cycle. To install these files, we go to menu select, setup, system data. Also here we see our network shares, one from the Cinemeric Edge box called Edge and one from my server called Net and there we see the installation files for half probe and there we want to start. We copy the Edge FS .cfs file and we will copy this to part at on common edge. If this folder edge is not there like in our case we need to make a new directory called edge with small letters and we will paste the file inside. Next file will be hfprobe.nsp. This we will copy to card add on cinemeric hmi CFG. To the same folder we will also copy the file slcap.xml. We will copy this to card add on cinemeric HMI CFG. And now we have two files missing and the first is an XML file hfprobe.btss var description this we will copy to card users the numeric HMI templates variables. We will use this later to diagnostic the functionality of our HF probe. This we will use later to see the status of our compile cycle. The last file we need to copy is the compile cycle itself. It is called hfprobe.elf. This we will copy to NC data and compile cycles. Good, we are done. Now it's time to restart our Cinemeric. After the restart is done, we can use Menu Select, Diagnostics, NC PLC variables to load the XML file we copied before. With Load Mask, you can load the age of probe ETSS var description XML and you will see this information page. We will use it later. Okay, that works very well. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you for the next time.